<laughs> Introducing the Jigglometer. The bouncier the boobies, the stronger the reading. It's fun for all the family. Man, this virtual world is starting to feel more and more like Tron, only with less motorcycles and more card games. God, my lungs are on fire. It feels like I've been running for days. Yugi, it's been eight seconds. Lay off, man! I'm in pretty good shape. I play card games all the time. I'll have you know I can lift two decks at once. That's impressive, right? Keep running, Yugi. The plot has to be around here somewhere. Yeah, speaking of which, weren't we in the middle of a tournament when all this crazy Noah shit started? What exactly happened with all that? Mm -mm. Maybe the writers went on strike again. Whoa, 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 whoa. We have writers? Thank God I'm no longer surrounded by those loud, obnoxious creatures! It was starting to feel like an anime club down there! But what am I supposed to do now? If only there were a convenient dream sequence around here that could show me the way! Hey, Taya! Earth to Taya! Hey, are you in there? It's your convenient dream sequence! Hey, Yugi! My eyes are freakishly large today! Mine too! Hey, look at this card! It's the Dark Magician Girl! Remember how much you like the Dark Magician Girl? No, actually, I think this is probably the first time I've even seen this card! No, 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 you love this card! In fact, you like it so much that you once went to a Broadway show all about the Dark Magician Girl! Critics called it the most poorly conceived musical since Pokémon Live! Well, at least this is better than Cirque du Soleil! And now, how about a volunteer from the audience? Oh crap! I knew I should have worn panties! <laughs> hey, it's Yugi and Yami! And they're staring right at my good stuff! This is the happiest day of my penguin! <laughs> hey, can you introduce me to that one penguin who's voiced by Elijah Wood? He's dreamy! <laughs> Penguins are so cute. I want one. <laughs> oh, such a cute little guy. Ah, somebody get this fucking dinosaur away from me. What a majestic beast. I must destroy it. Here I come, Serenity. Oh, my scrot. This is for killing Littlefoot's mom, you jerk. Hey, baby, mind if I take your top off real quick? Huh? Serenity, look, I'm finally becoming a man. It wasn't a meteor that wiped out the dinosaurs. It was Tristan Timothy Taylor. I'm glad I could help cure your derp. <laughs> the pleasure was all yours. But I killed the dinosaur! And so, the penguin struggles on through unbearable weather conditions. But does the penguin do this? Nobody knows. But we'll film it and get Morgan Freeman to narrate the whole thing. And call it a documentary. That's the beauty of nature. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go catch Kevin Spacey with the help of Brad Pitt. Where the mother crap is this? Welcome, Taya Gardner, to Penguinopolis, home of the mighty Penguin Empire! Isn't it beautiful? Nothing but penguins as far as the eye can see. Crump's the name, and penguins are my game. Second member of Team Four Kids and head of programming. You remember Viva Pinata? That was me. You're insane! You just don't understand the beauty of the penguin. They're so aerodynamically perfect. Can't you see it? The shape, the smell, the taste of penguins. Penguins! Penguins! Are you finished? Penguins. Stop saying penguins! I can't help it. I love penguins. Ew! Platonically. Oh. And physically. Ew! Well, I love the thought of having my own body even more. And so, Taya Gardner, age 16, sneaker size 6, bra size F, I challenge you to a children's card game! Wait, how did you get all that information about me? The penguins told me. How the hell do the penguins know my bra size? The penguins know everything! Listen, you creepy old man! Penguin thing, I'm not going to duel you, and that's final. Friendship sucks. Oh, it is odd in a manner similar to that of Donkey Kong. These doors must be our way out of here. I'm gonna try one of them. Here goes. Ah and that, Yugi, is what happens when you try to do things on your own. That door just bitch slapped me. Yes, that door may be our greatest foe yet. And I'm not even kidding. Look, the doors all have symbols above them. One star, two stars, 
three stars and four stars. Oh, lovely. A rejected puzzle from a Professor Layton game. That's just fan-tucking-fastic. Okay, there's only one way to solve this problem. By challenging the door to a duel. Of course. Not long after we were adopted, Gozaburo took us to live with him in his mansion. Absent tells me that you haven't been keeping up with your studies. Oh, you mean the giant-faced mutant you have posing as a butler? Hobson smash! Hobson! No smash! No! Smash bad! Smash very bad! Hobson, sorry! That's better. Now go tend to the silverware. Hobson, not really sorry. Why do you even have me doing all this work? I'm already a child prodigy. What more do you want? I want you to become every bit as cold-hearted as me. I want to project every last bit of my hatred onto you. Well, most of all, I want you to become the vessel of my other dead son. What? Nothing. No, seriously, what? Nothing. No, seriously, it sounded like you said- Hobson! So How's that silverware coming? Hobson, polishing! The way they treat Seto stinks, but I know how to make him smile. One day, Hobson smash everything! Then Hobson make them do silverware! Hey, Hobson, can you give this textbook to Seto? Hobson, suppose. Thanks, Hobson. You're the best. You nice to Hobson. Hobson not smash you. Man, what a day. I don't even want to look at another textbook. Hobson have textbook for Seto. Go f yourself, Hobson. Hobson doesn't know how to. Wait, this book has trading cards inside. Mokuba must have sent them to me. And look, it's a blue eyes white dragon. Mokuba made me a blue eyes card. One day, I know I'll have the real thing in my deck. And then, when I'm rich, I'll create a duel academy where every kid can go to learn how to play card games. Nah, scratch that idea, it's stupid. Uh, I want that Blue Eyes card. Mokuba, take it from him. But Seto, that's you. Just do it, Mokuba. I choose the Dark Magician Girl as my deck master. Ah, well, that's what I call a D-Milf. A D-Milf? A Dark Magician I'd like to fuck. Yuck! God, what is wrong with you, you perverted old creep? Allow me to tell you an unnecessarily explicit detail. When I was a young boy, the only the only pet I ever wanted was a penguin. I loved penguins. I respected penguins. I worshipped penguins. Penguins were everything to me. And now that I'm all grown up, guess what I want to be? A penguin? A woman. Ah! That's right. When I take your body, I'll be free to live out my fantasy of being a young teenage girl in Japan. The only person who's going to take my body is Yugi and or Yami. Yami, look, it's Taya, and she's playing a card game with a penguin. That's not fair. She's never even played Duel Monsters. Uh, what about the time she dueled against my Valentine? And won. She's never played Duel Monsters. Or the time she dueled Joey in episode two. And won. She's never played Duel Monsters! It's useless, Taya. When I fire off my penguin torpedo, your life points will be reduced to zero, and your shapely teenage girl body will be all mine. <laughs> I fucking love penguins. Okay, Taya, this is where all your years of experience finally pay off. You've never played Duel Monsters! Why summon Graceful Charity in attack mode? Graceful Charity is a spell card. Oh, um... Mirror Force? No. Uh, okay, uh, d just hang on, give me a minute here, I'll, I'll think of- <laughs> Penguins! Taya? Taya, can you hear me? Are you alright? Oh, Yugi, my hero, I missed you so much. <sighs> uh, Taya, are you feeling okay? I am now that you're here, Yugi. Well, that's good. Anyway, we should probably get By going. By the way, Yugi. Do you like penguins? Penguins? <laughs> penguins! You are lying! I never hit you! You are tearing me apart, Lisa! <laughs> Meow, 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 meow,